Hey guys, welcome back to Digimon. Uh, we're going to accept this mission. I've done all of them. Uh, I know there's a little bit of a weird space difference, and I'll explain it in a second. Let's just accept this, see what's going on, and then we can, whilst I'm, you know, running to the poker lab or something like that, I can explain proper detail. Okay, that's a look. Investigation start. My TV is, like, super fucking loud. Jesus Christ. It's got the shit out of me. I'll explain the details. The client time is local government that takes care of... Utilities in Nakano, basically, Britannic Agency. Okay, yeah. What are you so shocked? Of course, we specialize in supernatural and complex cyber crimes. It's a very specific clientele. Right, basically, so, yeah, you're gonna explain to me what a fucking cyber detective is for the fucking millionth time. This case we originally discussed the detective Mashimori, the government agent, blah, 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 blah. Got it? Not really. Good. Case of the locked gate to the Nakuro underpass. It seems the gate has been is locked due to an electronic glitch and cannot be opened. Huh? You know, you know the Nakuro underpass? Not really. Telephones. Okay. So it's just a thing for power, power leads and shit. The entrance place where is that the thing at right the bottom floor? It's a password protected electronic lock. But it seems time ago is no reason and no one has been since. She's the villain, I guarantee you, right? She's like the villain in the entire game. She just happened to show up and collect us. And like, she's very knowledgeable, but we do all the work for her. She's the bad guy. She's gonna betray us. I bet you. She's actually, she is actually a Digimon. That's right. Uh, it's the underground gateway, so there will be just the underground tunnel behind it, right? Aha! Super strike progress, quantum mechanics, blah 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 blah. So the gate is open, the wood would fix and flux. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. <laughs> Who cares? Shut up! Fuck, everyone talks for like two million years in this game. Uh, right, okay, hang on. Um, what is happening? Uh, right, just to make sure we're okay, we're on the same page. Go to Nakano Underpass, that's good. Alright, let's go to Digilab first. Uh, so yes, basically, um, I recorded, I re as for those who know, or does not know, I record in chunks, right? So you buy, I write down a little time, I write episode name if one happens to pop into my head whilst I'm writing down the time, and then I start the next episode, and I write that time down, and then I chop that up into pieces. Halfway through the second half, basically, so I recorded the first episode, which you saw a couple of days ago, and then the next episode that you were going to get was me dealing with the boxing website, and then that little quest afterwards, the boxing site. Basically, my capture, my capture device froze, basically, midway through that part, and kept recording but recorded the same screen and no audio so I have my voice and that's it and then the same screen and the same noise the, the entire time so I am um, so because the boxing wasn't exactly exciting I decided you know what right, fuck it we'll just chop it up we'll just chop the bit that is good off <laughs> the rest can go in the bin and we'll just start again I'll do those those quests off camera like I said I would. I'll finish off the quest that I'm on. It wasn't that interesting. We had to go take a picture of a ghost. It wasn't really a ghost. So it's fine. And now we're here doing this one. The end of the past. So that is what has happened. So nothing really has really transcribed. And now again I'm going to go through my little thing of saying checking these. Uh, that, none of these can level up right now can they? Right, worm one. How are you doing? Your speed is 49. Your speed needs to be 55. Okay then. Uh, Ice Devimon, you're... Oh my god, you can digivolve into this thing. Shall we do this? Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Where's Ice Devimon gonna become? He is... Oh, he's a, he's a tree, man. 
that <laughs> not what I was expecting. Oh, he's lovely. It's actually really not. It's actually really lame. What did you evolve into? Anything recognizable? A puppet. Puppet mon. Ah, uh, he's all lame. Fuck this guy. We'll eat that guy. Uh, you, you cannot digivolve yet. Digivolve is that thing. That thing looks cool. Um, you can't digivolve yet. Okay, Panamon, you're max level. Level 16 to evolve into Andromon. That's annoying, as you can no longer level up. Apparently, you're max level. So we need to get you another level from somewhere. What is your, uh, your ability is free. And your level is 15. So if we digivolve you and then de digivolve you, basically, that should be enough, right? Let's have a look. Right, what we got? Oh my fucking god, Bergemon looks awesome. Um, okay, so ability is now 6. Right, so let's de digivolve you back into Panamon. There we go. Now, now your ability is 9 and your max level is 28. Okay, so when you get high enough again, you can be upped. You, yeah we did you. Gottamon, what can you do? Oh my god, you can evolve into a Lilymon. Sexy. Alright, um, Angel Woman, I think that's that one. Your ability needs to be 10, which your ability is quite clearly not. Okay, well we'll see that, we'll let it level up a little bit more. Uh, you can digivolve into something now. Oh my god, what's that thing? Um, wizard, wizard, or this thing. Let's go into this thing. It makes the most sense, right? So we want Beelzemon. But we don't know what transforms into Beelzemon. So, oh, that's not what I was expecting. It's really, 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 really not what I was expecting. I don't think this is going to digivolve into a Beelzemon at all. It's not going to be that one, is it? Did you want to an egg? You're lame. You're really fucking lame. Oh, you're so lame. Fucking Ogremon. Get out of here. What about you? Oh, we did you. Gotamon, yeah, we did you too. Uh, Alright, Gururumon. You still can't do this yet. You can is enough and your attack is not enough, but you need to be level 28. You're level 20. That's not good enough. Your attack is 72 though. Oh, that's not gonna be enough, is it? <laughs> we may have to digivolve him into something else. Um, Numemon, you're a turd. Can you digivolve into anything yet? No. You cannot. Bakumon, can you go into anything yet? You can also not. Okay. And Gardramon. Oh my god, you can digivolve into that thing. We kinda want like one of these though. Probably that one. Oh, this like little asshole. I don't know. Who knows? Right, okay. So, <laughs> we have a cherry mon. <laughs> we don't want a cherry mon. I don't know how to get a Beelzemon. I don't think it's going to be from a wizard either. Maybe Beelzemon's just not a thing. Maybe it's not available. Who knows? So, I don't know if we want to keep him either. So, fuck him, basically. Uh, let's have a look at Digiconvert. Let's see what we can get. We can get quite a few different ones. Uh, we could feed them all to one Digimon and see what happens. Just see how far we can get him up. By feeding him, like, just everything. <laughs> Is there a Digimon we particularly like? Could we feed them all to actually- could, should we feed them all to one of our Digimon? Or what if we fed them all to Wormmon? Holy shit, that's not a bad idea. Alright, Wormmon, where are you? What if we fed you, like, a Cherrymon? Alright, it's quite a bit of XP. I feel like you're not high enough level- I think you're too high of a level, really, for this to be... a great advantage. Uh, Palamon. We could feed the Palamon. that bump his level up. Surely that would actually get in there, wouldn't it? Level 13, he needs to be level 16. Uh, 
Um, after we feed them all those as well, I don't think that's going to happen, is it? Alright, no, hang on. Uh, what have we got? We've got a bunch of these. We don't care about any of these ones. These ones are all... Oh, Galmon. Should we keep a Galmon? Do we want to see what a Galmon digivolves into? Feed it all to Galmon? Screw it. Let's feed it all to Galmon. There we go. Yeah, load it all up. Level 9. It's fantastic. Here you, go. you can eat those too. And you can eat that guy as well. Or that guy. Wait, hang on. What can you... Let's go, hang on, let's go Digivolve. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at Galmon. Plane right on time, as always. Good job, Plane. Love you too. It's got a massive plane flying over my house again. I don't even live near a fucking airport. Um, okay, he is... Max level is 15. And... You can Digivolve into quite a few different things, actually. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it, I don't care. I just don't care. We're feeding them all to Galmon. This is the decision. I'm making the executive decision. Orc thing, Cherry. He's level 15 now. This maxes him out. Wait, hang on. No. Uh. Fuck it, we're probably wasting some EXP, but who gives a shit? There we go, he's max. Right, let's digivolve you, buddy. What, what you got? What are options? This one or this one? Well, we know what that one is, so let's go with this one. Let's do it. What's he gonna digivolve into? So I know these are like just fucking 20 minutes of me digivolving shit, but I figured you guys want to see this sort of thing. Fine, we'll let this episode run a little bit longer. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Alright, he's kind of a cool one. Uh, I remember someone out. I remember someone saying something about the morning of Galmon, so we'll keep Galmon around. We'll keep Galmon around. All right, let's have a look. What does he evolve into now? Three options. It's probably that one, which is the next version, I assume, because that one looks like Lion Mon thing. Um, okay, let's move you to the Digi Farm. Next to Palamon down here. We got rid of two that we don't really care about. And did you farm? Uh, we got loads of food again. I don't know if any of these even need cam really. Oh look, we got a digi wrangler. I like it. There you go, Panamon, you can have some as well. Panamon, you're a hungry little bastard. There you go, Gar Garmon. Come on, have some of these. I don't know if this improves your ability ever. Probably not. I think it's just cam. There you go. You guys didn't get any, but it's fine. You don't really want any, do you? Let's face it. Um, right. Now, what should they do? Let's command them to develop and give them 10,000 yen. Let's just give them like a shit ton of money. See what they come up with. Uh, farm expansion. Can we do this again? Oh my god! Whoa! Look how cool it is now! Oh my god, we got so many. Oh, we've not got any more goods. Oh my god, the fucking farm is getting so good. The farm is becoming so amazing. Alright, okay, let's leave. Let's go to the underground. At least get this out of the way. Uh, which is here, right? Is this not. Is this not correct? Is this me being crazy? Are we not in? Naruto Underground. Yeah, we're in Nakato. Mm. Go to Nakato Underpass. Okay. Oh, okay. <coughs> Sorry, I had to uh, get that out of my throat. Right, there actually was a just a, a straight up underpass. Is this the thing that's broken? Did you arrive at the underpass? The gate we need to unlock is inside. The control panel should be beside you, so just connect, jump into the, the gate lock. All right, doing it. What happened? What, can't jump isn't working? That's strange. 
The electronic lock, so there should be some kind of network inside it. Perhaps that just didn't activate. Can I contact jump properly? Right, I think it's time I verified your ability to perform a contact jump. Raise your hand. Now concentrate. Now what? That's it. See, you don't know what you're fucking talking about. Point out later. Several hours later. A hundred years later. What are you doing just now? Whatever. Doing like it seems not like it's working. Oh! Oh! It's like I can't verify. Well, it seems that you can only contact jump if you feel disappointed. Well, if I post a theory on how the contact jump works, your ability locates a digital wave, it piggybacks onto the target's location, digital space, and enters it. It can be accessed a PC server. Shut up. You don't know how this shit works. This is not your power, this is my power. So shut your, shut your fucking shirt up for once in your life. Jesus. Try to fucking work. Try to be a detective. What you got is your boobs hanging out. Jesus Christ. Sorry, you're talking about something. Probably, it's probably not important. I probably don't even give a shit, to be honest with you, what you're talking about. That I will say that is one problem with this game. Is that a lot of the characters talk for a very long time about nothing. It's kind of like watching a YouTube video of me. Uh, okay, Tenemons. Awesome. I like Tenemons. Let's kill a Tenemon. Wow, that was quite the thick plane. Will you please fuck off? I don't even know if you can hear it. I don't. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know until they start editing it, and I'm like, and I like, I spend longer editing because I'm like, where the fuck's that plane? Where the fuck's that plane? Like listening to it. Like, come on, come on, plane. I know you're fucking there. I know you can do it. Where is it? You get really angry, like just searching for this plane. Half the time you can't even hear it. What the fuck is that? Let's pick them up. Yellow. Uh, okay. So let's copy this, shall we? Copy. Now we need to find another spot and paste that. Seriously, you guys can't hear that fucking plane. That's so frustrating. Paste. Yeah! The door should be unlocked now. Let's head back and check. No, I want to go see what's that way. Tens and ones, why? Oh my god, look at all those turns we get. That is just unreal amount of turns. How is Tenemon meant to fight me when that shit is a thing? And very, could you like just power up your speed? Like to crazy, crazy proportions just to do that? I don't, I really don't understand how long a plane can last above your fucking house. It's like you just stop from the house just like ejecting noise. It sounds like a fucking off. I have no idea how um, uh, it affects me this much. Like, look, you can, can you? It's just getting louder. It's like soundproof, like a fucking window. It's ridiculous. It makes no sense. Like, I can see the plane. What are you doing? Why? Are you searching for somebody? Searching for something? Go away! I'm probably just shouting at nothing. Yeah, because when I'm silent, the audio is not picking anything up. So you can't even hear that fucking plane. God damn it. That's probably good. I'll just ignore it then. Pretend it's not there. Yeah, go to the underpass. 
Does this work now? Yeah, oh. This is not good. And surprisingly thingy for a side quest. Oh. Seems you managed to unlock the gate, so thanks for that. It must have been easy for you, given your skill. Oh, there's a bit of a labyrinth in the underground tunnel. What do you mean by a bit? Is there any sign of Digimon or an Eater in there? I see, it's strange. It's just a small section of the labyrinth. Hmm. So we couldn't know what we would find, but I wasn't expecting that. Maybe we have witnessed a special digital wave occurrence. Some sort of... I fucking fucked that up, didn't I? I see. This is definitely a ley line. Have you ever heard of ley lines before? There are so many in Tokyo. So they're also called dragon chains. It's like, what the fuck? Like, what is this? Have you heard of ley lines before? There are so many in Tokyo. You must have heard about them. They're also called dragon chains. The dragon signifies the unyielding landscape and the hills and mountains. And the dragon chain is what we call the flow of the land spirit. Like, what does that mean? I don't... And known that Siori Tenaki advisor to the Izaru Tokugawa, okay, Izaru Tokugawa, that guy I know, turned Edo into a great feeding she city. It is said that he built a waterway and path to lead that she from the mountain Fuji and Toko, to, to, Tokyo Bay to Edo Castle. These are actually things I know! Fantastic! The particular note is in the instant that Kenji and Ak Akatsuka shine to the knee and zero Z WHO CARES?! FUCK! What does that have to do with what a fucking ley line is?! They look like lines that connect both temples and Shino shines, Akatsuka and Hein Find the cross right inside the old Edo castle. Come look, even Digipal is just like, uh huh, uh huh. I fucking know. That doesn't explain to me what the fuck your original thing was. You like tell me ley lines and then told me that they're called dragon chains and then like went into great detail to why they're called dragon chains. And I never cared why they were called dragon chains or is that the fact that they were called dragon chains? <sighs> I'm sorry. My god. Naturally, the stunning underground contents another ley line running through Tokyo, too. The ley line, either. The one that's believed to emerge from Mount Fuji. It's supposed to be run right through here. The man made tunnel laid on top of it. Right. I could go on for a while yet. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking you. You have been going on for a while. Ah, I think that means you understood it. Well then. At any point, your work is initially done, but you can't exactly just ignore the newfound discovery of yours either. Why don't you have a little look further and check in things out for me? Okay, sure, why not? Let's go look around, shall we? Uh, I hope there's like, I hope there's an eater in here that will just eat my soul. Oh shit. Oh, there's a fork in the road. Oh, oh hello. So, I mean, what kind of person is your mother? She's a reporter, she works hard. I don't know what met replying to them does either. Can someone explain that? Actually, what does replying to them do? Does it like help their cam or whatever? I don't I don't know. It's gotta increase something, right? There's gotta be some point to it. No, it just keeps going, you say. Stays on course. Like that, you're going to end up end up in <laughs> the pony. Which would mean hmm. That reminds me of something else I heard about before. Oh, fuck. 
As I mentioned before, Tokyo Ley Lines them from Mount Fuji, which is of course, which of, of course not all that's conven convenience. <laughs> I don't care. I do not fucking give a shit about fucking Mount Fuji. Yes, water from Mount Fuji comes through the fucking sewer pipes. That's fantastic. What does that have to do with me in being in this sewer? It'd be an amazing to think that it turned into be able to be true. I know, I don't know what's true. I wasn't listening to you. I don't care. I'm I'm here now. Stop right there, don't go any further. Why? You're standing at the border. Uh oh. Go further and you'll be a, <laughs> and you'll be in the central government territory. It's a hive. We'd best not poke. Could I be intrigued though? That's a hell of a thing to stumble into, just walking around inside the tunnel. You know, I'm prepared just to pick that sort of fight. Yeah, fuck it, I don't care. So don't go further. So you tell me to go back. Oh, I'm back here now. We're going back. We're going in there at some point. 100% we're going in there. Though it's not as strong as it used to be, that tunnel is causing a digital shift. We should probably keep it locked up for after all. I have no idea what I'm going to explain all this to our client. Well, just explain it to him. Just explain to him that a digital virus has infected our real world tunnel and that Digimon may start pouring through, as well as a eater, which will possibly eat and devour anybody who it finds. No? You don't want to explain that to you? No? Okay. Why oh, would be so dense? I told you the area under the jurisdiction of the central government. What sort of place you want to wander into, it, wander into for fun. Fair, yeah, okay, that's fair enough, I guess. I mean, we don't really want to go breaking any laws, because we'll just get fucking done in by that copper again. A hasty right now. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't really care about you know, Yukio. I just want to level my Digimons and do battles and fight massive monsters. I don't want to hear you yammer on about fucking Mount Fuji for two years. Yeah, I won't hassle you about the details until you get grateful, but it's a sleeve you need to be. Okay, so basically that that was about teaching us how to use the copy-paste technique. And we're going to have to use that in our next story plot device, I'm sure. Alright, can we put that back on the board now? No, I guess not. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't quit the case. We will definitely finish this case, but we will finish it next time. We're going to get into Digilab real quick. We're going to check on people's levels. That's right. We're going to check their levels and see how they're doing. All right, farm. Seven, level eight. Well, we're all good. What level do you cap at? Both of you got plenty of levels. Alright, so these people are all good. They've all got plenty of levels going on. Gargamon is pretty fucking... We've had Gargamon for a long time, haven't we? What, he can did you on like a level, right? A level, because we want this one, because it looks weird. That one could be kind of cool too. But, um, I can't want this one, because it looks weird. So, I think that might be an Angemon, an Androidmon. And if it is, that would be really fucking cool. Um, right, okay, that's it for this episode of Digimon. I know I got a little bit salty there with the whole Mount Fuji bollocks, but it was frustrating, right? Let me know in the comments below how you feel about that sort of video game content. That's actually something I'm very interested in. Do you guys like random stuff like that where they just go into really long dispositions about nothing? You know, like when they just talk and talk and talk for no fucking reason, you don't need to know that. I mean, I guess I now know it. I now have the information that, <laughs> that is, if that's if it's true, and not like something they just wrote in for fucking giggles, which I assume it's not, and it actually has some truth to it, otherwise it wouldn't be in there. We learnt a thing that the layways are called dragon chains, and that the one that's in Tokyo stems from Mount Fuji, apparently. So, you know, that might be interesting. And it had a lot of actually real places 
you know, it had a lot of real places and it had a lot of actual real people like Yasu Tokugawa, who was of course a, uh, a, well, let's, all right, he's a character in Samurai Warriors, so we know of him from our, uh, from our previous Let's Play. We already know what that is, right? So, just saying, we've heard of, we've heard, we, we together have heard of him, whether you have studied Japanese and Chinese history or not. Uh, we know of him from a previous thing, so we know that there's actually that thing and that some of those locations are also in that game So we know that that is like a connection and that's I guess that's interesting to a point But it's not why I'm here, right? I'm here to battle Digimon So what do you guys feel about that? Do you think like they, they shouldn't bother with that? They should kind of get more to the point quicker or Reword things like that so it's more easy to digest rather than pages and pages and pages of dialogue I mean, how do you feel about that? Anyway that's a good question, I guess, for today. And I will see you guys next time for some more Digimon, or some more Zelda, or some more Pokken, which is uh, also out on the channel now, if you want to go have a little look. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.